welcome back. Just writing down for thump for uh, uh, timestamps. So I've got, I think it's like almost 40 videos that are still set to go live while we're on vacation. I've already pre-recorded the entire 32, 32 team playlist for the power rankings. Uh, there were three different subscribers that had uh, influence on this, that sent in information. Uh, my wife spent two and a half days pouring over all that information. So when I see people just try, oh, this is stupid, this is terrible, honestly, don't care. A lot of work went into it. There were multiple people that had to do with it. And I'm going to call them all-time power rankings because for me, they're all-time power rankings. I'm not going through over 100 years of data. I'm not doing it. It's not happening. So... By all means, have at her. All right, now that that's out of the way, we're going to go ahead and get things started because I have 10 games coming on tonight. Uh, and then tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, we, we go. So anyways, uh, Lankinen versus Skinner in this one and it's Corey Perry's debut. Uh, he was prominent in places, doesn't end up getting on the score sheet. Uh, good early back and forth. Uh, both teams defending quite well early on. Uh, things get pushed in a hole by Lankinen. Uh, the Preds press three minutes in. Uh, Skinner holds on there. CC has a screenshot that's saved and then it's cleared out. Uh, Forsberg has a one-timer that's held. Perry has a sharp angle shot saved. The Preds clear and then we get a power play for Edmonton and they score on it. At 7.56 is Nugent Hopkins with his first goal in 10 games. Uh, it's crossbar and in. Dreisaitl and McDavid with the assists. Uh, we then get a power play for Nashville. Evangelist is denied. Skinner holds. Power play is killed off. I cannot say and stress enough how important Skinner's play was in this game. Uh, so, uh, McLeod's denied, Lankin and Holtz with 318 left. The Oilers get a power play. That's killed off. The Oilers press in the final minute. It's 1-0 Edmonton after one. Second period. Uh, Brown has a, a break chance. That's defended. Connor Brown's not allowed to get a goal. He's had lots of opportunities lately. It's just not going in for him. Forsberg can't bury one in close. We get a power play for Nashville. There's an early clear during that. The Preds go offside trying to set it up. Uh, that's killed off, but the shots are 5 nothing Nashville, 7 minutes in. The Preds gave Edmonton everything they could handle today, but the Oilers go back to the power play. They score on this one, too. Dreisaitl from Nugent Hopkins and McDavid at 11.39, very early in the power play, and it's a one-timer and, and no chance on that one for Lankinen. Uh, so then Nashville gets a power play. Uh, there's a shorthanded rush by Nugent Hopkins, another clear after. Uh, power plays killed off one shot for Nashville during that power play. Uh, Kulak then fires one wide as they're looking for another. Uh, Yanmark gets denied on a chance he got on a turnover. Yossi has a last minute shot that deflects wide. It's 2-0 Edmonton after two. Third period, early edge for the Oilers. Uh, Nashville had the only shot on that three minutes in. McLeod has a shot that's held really good flow to the game. I thought the Oilers were doing a good job of just no whistles, just keep the play going, keep it in their end, keep it in the neutral zone. Uh, McLeod has a shot that's, or Forsberg then has a shot that deflects out. We get a press by Nashville at five minutes. Glass is denied. And they started generating some chances. Uh, the shots are seven to one for Nashville at eight minutes. But McDavid uh, bounces one in from the side of the net. He scores from Ekholm and Bouchard at nine minutes and 11 seconds to make it three nothing for the Oilers. Uh, there's a post for Cody Glass the next shift. Glass had a really good game. You could tell he was getting more and more frustrated because the puck wouldn't go in for him. Uh, the Oilers press with eight and a half minutes left. Things get punchy on a hold by Stuart Skinner. Uh, and that was Glass again. So Glass frustrated and decides, well, might as well start punching. But at 13.23, eventually Nashville gets a goal, and here it is. It's Sissons from Smith and Evangelista. Knife pass from Evangelista set to set it up. Uh, and again, it's another one that kind of bounces in. It's just too many chances for Nashville. So that ended a shutout streak of, like, forever. Like, it just... It was a long shutout streak, and I, I didn't write it on the board. I apologize. Nashville then looks for another. Uh, Connor Brown has a shot that deflects high because he's not allowed to have a goal. Uh, goalie pull happens with four minutes left, and eventually uh, Hyman scores from dry settle at 16:40. And what a difference a few months makes. A standing ovation for the Edmonton Oilers as they win their 16th game in a row going into the break. They are 29-15 and one with the four to one victory. Uh, Nashville 26 22 and one with the loss shots on net 9 7 Edmonton in the first 9 6 Nashville in the second 14 6 Nashville in the third they outshoot the Oilers 30 to 21 power plays Nashville 0 for 3 Edmonton 2 for 3 the hits 28 to 28 Lankinen saves 17 out of 20 and Skinner saves 29 out of 30 so yeah Skinner had a really good game and Edmonton gets the victory so 
We'll see where they are in the power rankings this week. I'm not spoiling anything. No. Next up, and the other game we're going to talk about is Buffalo and San Jose. And uh, San Jose has a bad record against Buffalo. No idea why. It's just a thing. And I just mean overall, not just this year where it's a sweep for Buffalo. So Lukanen versus Kakinen. So it was Finn versus Finn. Uh, and the San Jose Sharks just having unveiled their third jerseys, the Finn jersey. So there's a lot of Finn going around. Uh, Pozo has a rush chance that's held. Cunning to Sturm gets picked off. The shots on that are 2 0 Buffalo, two and a half minutes in. We get a power play for the Sabres. That's killed off by San Jose. Uh, Darlene has a slap shot that misses wide. The shots on net are 6 to 1 for the Sabres at seven and a half minutes. They're playing very well, but San Jose scores on their second shot. Short side pass to screen. It's Vlasic from Eklund and Emerson at 8.04. Sabres look to answer. The Sharks, though, they get some pressure at the half, and at 10.42, after a failed clear, Eklund gets it to Ruta, and uh, it's deflected in. So it becomes 2-0 for the San Jose Sharks. Kind of a bit of a shocker there. Uh, and the Sharks press for another. But Buffalo would answer. Paterka scores from Cousins and Power at 14-14. It's a cross-crease pass and buried. Uh, Sabres press with two and a half minutes left. And at 18-01, Greenway scores to tie the game. Tuck and Middlestad with the assists. So it's 2-2 after the first period. Pretty entertaining first period. Second period, Vlasic has a one-timer that's held. Paterka had a net drive that was defended, but Buffalo would get the lead. It's Tuck from Middlestad at 135. Now, the Sharks, to their credit, they do press for response. There's no giving up with these Sharks now. Uh, Thompson then has a net drive that's held. The shots on net are 4-3 to three for Buffalo, 3.5 three minutes in. Sharks press at 6.5 minutes. There's a near miss for Mike Hoffman. Puck's cleared out. Uh, power play for Buffalo. Back-to-back -back clears by San Jose. Uh, and it's killed off uh, without the Sabres really setting up at all. Uh, Sabres do press after it's done. Yoki Haru has a shot that's held. Uh, the Sharks really, they had a, a game plan it seems, but they were missing high. So their chances that they had on Lucan and they were trying to pick the corner and they just kept going high with their opportunities. 317 left, the Sharks get a power play. This is right around where Hurdle exits. Power play's killed off. Uh, the Sharks press after it's done. So we go to the third period. Uh, early jump for Buffalo. They are up 3-2. to two. They're looking to bring this one home on the road. Uh, Kakinen saves during that. Uh, Sabres press out two minutes. Uh, the horn sounds for what might have been a goal. It's reviewed. Normally when the horn sounds, it is a goal. But in this case, a puck didn't cross the line. I'm not sure why the horn sounded. Uh, but there wasn't a definite definitive angle that showed it in the net. Uh, but it stays 3-2. to two. Would have been Buffalo's goal there too. Shots are 7-0 for Buffalo three minutes into the period. Yeah, that was a pretty strong start for Buffalo. And at 431, uh, Paterka with his second straight two-goal game. He scores from Cousins uh, and Quinn. I've got Quick on the board. No idea why, other than my brain's already on vacation. So Quinn with the secondary assist at 431. Uh, but then Quinn ends up exiting. He got hurt. It was a, a hit from Hurdle. He lands awkwardly along the boards. Wasn't putting weight on his left leg as he left the ice. We'll see how long he's going to be out. Thankfully, all-star break and all that, right? So Darlene then has a shot that pinballs onto the top of the net. I thought that was going in. Uh, Sharks press. Uh, Sabres block and they clear. Things get punchy at 9.54 as a penalty was being called anyways. The Sharks end up coming out of that with a power play. Uh, the Sabres, though, really aggressive on the penalty kill. They kill that off. No shots for the, for the San Jose Sharks on that. In fact, the shots are 11-5 to five for the Sabres with six minutes left. 5.04 left. We get two minutes of four on four. And San Jose figures might as well pull the goalie and make it a five on four. Uh, that's where Cousins ends up getting an empty netter at 15:42 to make the score 5-2. to two. Uh, And the Sharks, again, that horrible franchise record against the Sabres. They committed today with a points percentage of 385, all time against them, and there you are. 5-2 to two win for Buffalo. They go to 22-23-4 on the season. Uh, the Sharks 13-32-4 with the loss. So San Jose, not really a surprise. They lost this one. Uh, but hey, Buffalo with uh, with some wins here, and, and we'll see if, if they're able to... Nah, I'm not even going to say it. But let me know your thoughts regarding these games in the comment section below, as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe in the event that you haven't hit those buttons already. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.